Well, it's definitely going to be a tough holiday season for retailers. Uh, the good news is they're used to it. The National Retail Federation is forecasting about a, a decline of about 1% this year in holiday sales, uh, which in a way is good news. The rate of decline uh, is certainly uh, starting to decrease compared to last year's minus 3.4%. So it looks like we're starting to come out of the darkness a little bit. So it's going to be challenging for a little bit longer. Uh, but ultimately, we do think retailers are going to come out of this. I, I think you're going to see those typical holiday categories do well. Uh, apparel is going to be a top seller. Electronics are, are clearly going to do well. Um, however, what we might see uh, are retailers cut back in terms of what price points they pick. Uh, so rather than pick a, uh, a, a, a cashmere sweater, uh, they might focus more on, on scarves. Or, or gloves. I think in terms of consumer electronics, uh, rather than those high-end, uh, high-definition televisions, uh, consumers might be looking for price cuts there. Uh, but this might also be the year that they actually invest in the Blu-ray technology because those prices have been coming down. We have also see uh, video game systems coming down. So I think the price points are coming down to a, to a level where consumers might jump in and adopt a new technology this year. The economy is clearly uh, starting to recover. However, it's not going to be a consumer-led recovery. Uh, so clearly, right now, consumers are still focusing on uh, necessity purchases rather than discretionary purchases. Now, this means the most successful retailers are going to be the retailers that make that emotional connection between the consumer and their merchandise.